you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee is ready to engage yet again. For years, the UFC's welterweight division has been among the promotion's strongest, and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC welterweight champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The welterweight champion of the world. He's a star. The guy is one of the best pound pound fighters in the world, and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media, to his appearances. He does everything right. He's a champ for a reason. It all boils down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight camp. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup here tonight. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Ready. All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. Been a lot of seminal moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. But John, also in UFC 200, I've got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Circling towards the left now. Side kick is there. Hey. Beautiful body kick. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. All right, so one minute into the fight, certainly a lot of respect on both sides, but a lot more respect than action, at least thus far. Yeah, boo. I'm booing. I'm booing. I'm not even going to cry. I got to catch myself. You need to go in there and fight. Come on, man. It's a video game. Somebody do something. Go forward and fight. Strong straight left there. Oh, looked like he got tagged a couple times there up top. Keep your hands up, David. Come on now. Let's move. Let's repose. Able to land with the body there with the left kick. Got a single collar tie. Back to the body kick now. Oh, that was a big one there. Nice. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Some distance as they play apart. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, 
How technical is that? Nice straight punch. Oh. Nice. Take down defenses there. Nice shot there by the champ. Nice shot by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single counter time. Oh, he's separation the clinch. Oh, nice combination, yes. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Nice high guard. Shows great defense there. Rip the body there. Nice corner nice right hook there. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Well, nice shot there to use his opponent's offense against him as he lands the counter hook. Nice strike there by Lee. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds in the round. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game. Ten seconds now in round one. Oh. Round two next. Hey, stop. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off. And my foot would be slippery yeah. wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh! Massive kick to the head! Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Beautiful kick lands. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. What a fun fight between two guys that only focus on offense. Effective with the jab. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just over three minutes to go. That strike blocked by Lee. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of 
of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Back to the jab now, no good. All right, so a little wealth there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Two minutes now to go in round two. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, caught him with the hip kick. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. If he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. One minute to go, round two. Big punches. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can still strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Lee's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. 15 seconds to go. Oh, single collar tie here. Coming up next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Back and forth we go here. 
so the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of him. Catches the leg here, and now goes for the takedown. It's there. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on them. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Nice punch to the head. Oh. Tremendous toughness as he eats yet another body shot. This feels pretty critical at this point in time. I wonder if the corner's thinking about getting there. Somebody needs to. Somebody needs to get in there and stop this fight. This fight is over. Your fighter has been beaten. He's not going to win. Now it's about long-term damage. How do you avoid and allow this guy to continue forward after this fight? Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot wow. This could be it. Swing and a miss. Finally. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Just missed on that spinning attack. Short time now in the round. Man, both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Good work, guys. Come on. Sidekick, well placed. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this. Oh. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Straight punch there by Lee. 20 seconds to go. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, well timed with the knee to the head. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight. What a round. All right, so there is the horn. We have gotten to the end of the round, and after he got buckled with that liver shot, I didn't think we'd get here. No, it did not look like we would get here. It did not seem like he would be able to stand up to that punch, but he did. He lives to fight another day. Let's see what he does with the opportunity. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Attack the cut. Attack the cut. And that one certainly felt 
found the target. Big shot land. Lee's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Let's go. You can do this. Keep going forward. What a fun fight. These two are going back and forth. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that sidekick. Well, missed on that one. Leg kick lands nicely done. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Well, he is one of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.